Nostalgia. It's delicate, but potent. Three public speaking hacks from the one and only Don Draper that you can start using right now. Let's do this. Hi, my name is Rabia. I'm a communication coach. Public speaking is my thing. And I love helping people stand up and bring out the best communicator in them. Today's video is from the hit TV series Mad Men, starring Don Draper, the creative director of the fictional Manhattan ad agency Sterling Cooper, played by the talented John Hamm. So basically, I'll be reviewing a creative advertising pitch aimed at securing the Eastman Kodak company as a client for Don's firm. That three and a half minute scene can easily be described as one of the best scenes in television history. And that's largely due to John Hamm's exceptional acting and public speaking. Link to the pitch in the description below. Here are three things we can learn from Don Draper's performance. Number one, context. Out of the total three minutes of the scene, one full minute is used by Don to set up his pitch. In the actual clip, everything you see from the beginning until the lights turn off is Don's carefully prepared laying the ground for his winning arguments. Without that context, and should he have delivered his pitch immediately at the start of the meeting, there would be a real risk of the Kodak executives being more critical of his ideas. Because without context, listeners would feel lost and disoriented. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? They need to be guided to properly follow the sequence of ideas in a pitch. Which brings us to hack number two, visuals. You can have an engaging pitch or speech without a single visual slide and still be very effective and very powerful. But when you have the right visuals to bring your ideas to life, you'd be creating one memorable experience for your audience. What do you use as a software to create visuals for your pitches and presentations? Let me know down in the comments. In his pitch, Don used actual pictures from his own personal life to illustrate his creative concept for the Kodak product in question. He even suggested changing the product's name from wheel to carousel, adding an extra layer of visualization to the listening experience, making us connect the product to the happy experience we go through on a merry-go-round. And accordingly, hack number three, risk. Any creative proposition runs the risk of getting rejected, but any high risk taken can yield incredibly high rewards. And that's exactly what we see in this emotion evoking pitch. Put yourselves in the shoes of the Kodak executives. They're running around different ad agencies, trying to find a new partner to promote their star product. They probably heard a lot of pitches so far, all talking about the product itself. And then comes Don Draper, taking his pitch in a completely different direction, associating the product with the power of the past, with the past being able to offer nostalgia and unveiling all of our happiest memories. It was one creative, powerful, risky pitch, and the risk paid off. The looks on the faces of the Kodak executives say it all. Good luck at your next meeting. So to recap, after reviewing Don Draper's pitch, we learned to provide context at the beginning of a pitch in order to be more persuasive, present engaging visuals to bring your arguments to life, and use risk to your advantage so that your pitch is different and memorable. Make sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And remember, anyone, and I mean anyone, can become a great speaker. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.